For someone as talented as Nick Kyrgios, it's surprising how less we talk about his tennis. He's almost always in the headlines for some sort of controversy, and while that's a common theme in this year's Wimbledon, people are also taking a special interest in his performances. And for good reason. He's been absolutely fantastic, and the Australian will be facing Rafael Nadal in the semifinal of this year's Wimbledon. Let's take a closer look. Let's start with Kyrgios's ridiculous performance. If there were any doubts over Nick's first-round scare against Paul Jubb, he more than swayed them away with some fantastic tennis against Filip Krajinovic in the second round. Now, Krajinovic was the 24th seed for Wimbledon this year, but he's also a really good grass player and managed the finals of Queens and only lost to Matteo Berrettini in the final hurdle. So even though Kyrgios was definitely the favorite going into the match, his performance was from a different universe. The Australian started off extremely impressive and raced to close off the first set 6-2, only in 26 minutes, with 49 winners and only 10 unforced errors, Kyrgios wrapped up the entire match in well under 90 minutes, not to mention the 24 aces and the fact that he only lost three of his 40 points on the very first serve. Insanely dominant performance, and it was obvious after this that Stefano Tsitsipas would be sitting comfortably in his seat. Perhaps the most important and promising sign from the match was the lack of Nick's usual antics as he played on a completely different level to the serve. He's a man on a mission this year, and only something out of this world can match his level of tennis. Can Nadal stop him? Well, there's only one way to find out. But what does he think about his display? As for Kyrgios, he was extremely proud of himself for the kind of performance he put in. Talking to the tennis channel post-match, the 27-year-old said that he felt the match was a bit of a statement. We can't lie, we thought so too. Usually, Kyrgios wouldn't want to put in that much effort and wouldn't mind if a game like this one ends in four sets or even five. But if you have to go deep in a Grand Slam, you need to string together some short wins to conserve energy for the big matches. In fact, Kyrgios had more than just that reason to deliver a masterclass. He explained that he's been sick of the media, and he doesn't like the fact that they've been nitpicking all of his matches. We're absolutely certain that's a huge factor, and it's almost like overly critical British media is motivating Kyrgios with their style of journalism. The Aussie added that because of all this, he knew that today's match was all about being locked in, and we feel sorry for Krajinovic because he had to face Kyrgios at his very best. Tough luck. It's also nice to see players being confident in their own skins. As Nick said after the match, that he really loved that reporters had nothing to write about today because of his superb display. And he's not a fan of the fact that he's not given enough respect based on his tennis because of his other things or antics, we presume. That's certainly spot on because his talent has never been in doubt. And it's obviously a proud moment for him when he's not stirring anything up and just producing unreal tennis on court. What are you going to say. Nothing today. Dumbfounded all of you. Then Kyrgios follows it up with a bullying performance. If Kyrgios only had his talent on display against Krajinovic, he remembered to bring both his talent and his controversies to the table against Stefanos Tsitsipas in another superb performance. While Nick definitely did enough to push Steph over the edge, the Greek star's antics couldn't be ignored and didn't help him. Tsitsipas had a great start as he closed out the first set after a decent tiebreak. Kyrgios was visibly frustrated with his failure to convert break points. But in the second set, Steph made a huge error. And with that, Kyrgios leveled the game. It was an avoidable mistake from Tsitsipas, and he couldn't believe what he'd done. As the result, he smashed the ball into the crowd, which made contact with a spectator, and drama followed. Nick couldn't believe that Tsitsipas hadn't been ejected for this, and they continued into the third set. Kyrgios tested Steph's patience with a couple of underarm serves, and Steph lost points on both, smashing one of them into the crowd. It was obvious that Kyrgios had won the mental battle, and he didn't drop his serve a single time, and went on to win in four sets. It was another devastating performance from the talented Aussie, as he set up a round of 16 clashes against Nakashima. Next up, he wins nervy battle against Nakashima. Most people believe that the Kyrgios Tsitsipas clash was effectively a quarterfinal, considering the lack of superstars in the draw. That's exactly what he believes, too, but he had another scare against the American tennis player Brandon Nakashima on paper. It seemed like a fairly straightforward win for Kyrgios, but he was battling a number of injuries, and Nakashima was in extremely good form. The Australian lost the first set, and it just didn't look good for him because he was visibly struggling to play at the level we're used to seeing so far in Wimbledon. After calling the trainer a couple of times, Kyrgios managed to get a hold of his form and came back from behind to lead in the game by two sets to one. The fourth set, however, was another thriller with Nakashima getting the crucial break and forcing a decider. It wasn't meant to be for the American. 
American because Kyrgios found another gear, as we've seen so often, and produced a spectacular fifth to set a date with Christian Guerin in the quarterfinals of Wimbledon. It was a big test of Kyrgios' character, and this win was another statement win because it shows his intention of going deep. He has no plans of giving up, and we're sure he'll leave everything on the court in the remaining matches, or match. And then, Kyrgios reaches first Grand Slam semifinal. So far in Wimbledon, we've seen 50 shades of Nick. We've seen the immature, edgy performance against Jupp, followed by a spotless display against Krajinovic. Then he produced the most typical Kyrgios match against Steph before fighting his injury concerns and prevailing against Nakashima. But the one performance that we haven't seen from the Australian was a measured performance with calculated risks and timely clutch winners. Enter Christian Guerin. Like Krajinovic, he had no idea which kind of Nick would show up, and it was his terrible luck that the most sensible version of him came on center court and produced a sublime effort to register his first Grand Slam semifinals. Maybe it was because of all the controversy surrounding him, and he wanted to take his mind off it, and he did so with the most mature performance of this year's Wimbledon. He wasted no opportunities, and within a few special moments and flourishes of his racket, had moved on to a 2-0 lead in the match. Garen kept making inroads, but just couldn't dominate on his own service game and convert the break points. Despite the fact that Kyrgios was impressive, he remained very frustrated as the game edged towards a third set tiebreak. In the tiebreak, Kyrgios once again took his level just a little bit higher, and the pressure did the rest as he won in straight sets to set up a special semifinal clash against Rafael Nadal. Finally, can the Aussie superstar beat Nadal? In tennis, there aren't many bigger tests than facing one of the big three, especially an informed player of the big three. And unluckily for Kyrgios, he'll be facing a Rafael Nadal, who is 19-0 in Grand Slams this year. In fact, this year alone, he's won more Grand Slam semifinals than Kyrgios has been in throughout his career. But you'll be surprised to know that Nick has a famous win over Nadal in Wimbledon. He was only a teenager back then, and he completely blew the world away with his grit and consistency as he comfortably defeated Nadal. Of course, their careers would take extremely opposite trajectories, as Kyrgios's career would be somewhat of a stop-start, and Nadal, well, he's the GOAT for many, so we'll say he's done quite well for himself. Either way, both of them meet again in this year's Wimbledon semifinal. Nadal is chasing a third Grand Slam title of the year, and a record-extending 23 Grand Slam titles of his career. Nick Kyrgios, on the other hand, is hoping hoping to make his first ever Grand Slam finals, but we've seen weirder things happen on the court, so we won't be ruling Nick out. If Nick can hold his nerve and serve, there's a decent chance he can force Nadal. Not to mention, Nadal's battling with multiple injuries, and if Marka's reports are to be believed, he's got an abdominal tear. Oh, don't worry, he won't be sitting this one out. He'll definitely play, but Kyrgios couldn't have hoped for a better time to face Rafa. And that's a wrap for this video. Do you think Kyrgios can go on to win Wimbledon? Let us know in the comments below. Hello. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and we'll see you in the next one.